first we'll have a look at the XML API and you can see in there there's a function that's called read XML that is going to load our books.xml file and if you have a look at the books XML file you'll see it's just a basic XML file that's got some um, data in there so first what we'll try to do is load this books.xml file using JavaScript and this is Chrome version 27 in case you're wondering so we start off by trying to run the read XML function and we get an error a cross origin requests error and in order to fix that and actually pull in the local XML file we're gonna have to go to our command prompt and we're gonna run Chrome uh, using this disable web security argument So now we're going to head back over to our JavaScript console and check that read XML function one more time. And what you'll see the, is that it does work. However, to view the XML data, you want to go to your sources. And we'll be using this XML doc variable to actually view our XML data in the console window. And there you have it. You can see all of your XML data has been loaded from a file that's locally on your computer. Now, in addition to that, if you want to look at how this works in Firefox, you might be surprised and delighted to find out that you don't need to do the same thing with Firefox that you need to do with Chrome. Um, you can actually load that XML file, that local XML file, directly into Firefox without having to do any security disabling. However, in Internet Explorer 10, you will get an access denied if you try to load that local XML file.